Hi and welcome to the DIY Family Channel. I'm Steve and the project I'm going to show you how to do today is I'm going to show you how to do a multi-layered spray paint job and what I did it on was a wooden box that I made and what you're going to do is <clears throat> you can use a box, a piece of wood, whatever you want. This technique can be used for many different things. And these boxes here are some of the boxes that I've already finished. Um, this one's got a lightning theme on it. This one I did an outline of a uh, pirate ship. And then this box that I have back here is a camouflage box. I have a few other boxes that I made, but some of them were given as gifts. And um, But the one I'm going to show you how to do today is this one with the flames on it. And this one is almost completed, but I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. And from here, we're going to go out in the backyard and I have some stuff set up so that I can show you how to do the spray painting job. So I'll see you out in the backyard. Hi, and now that we're out in the backyard, I'm going to show you how I spray painted the box that I made. The first thing that you want to do is you want to paint it white or with some type of primer. So <clears throat> once you've done that and you let that dry, then you're going to pick what colors you want to use. The colors that I'm going to be using for this flame pattern are going to be orange, yellow, red, and gray. So the first thing I did was I took the gray spray paint and I just kind of lightly sprayed over it like that just to kind of give it a smoky type of look. And then I took the yellow spray paint and you're going to want your flames to start out red and then orange <coughs> and yellow and get lighter as it goes up. So I spray painted the top, the yellow, and then just kind of hit it a little bit at the bottom. And then the next color I took was orange. And then I just kind of hit the middle a little bit, and a little bit at the bottom, and just kind of lightly hit the top so that the yellow still shows through. And then I took the red, and I hit the bottom of the box this is going to simulate the bottom going towards the top with the red and then I just kind of hit it like that and then I hit it with the gray one more time just lightly to give it that smoke look in the flames <clears throat> and then once all of this dries what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a scrap piece of wood and then I'm going to put some blue painters tape on that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the outline of the flames on the blue painters tape and then I'm going to cut it out with an exacto knife or any really sharp blade that you have and then you're going to peel that off and you're going to lay that over this and then I painted the entire thing after that with a black and then a little bit of gray so we're going to go back inside and I'll show you how I did the okay flames. so now that we've come back inside I'm going to show you how to make the flames to put on your project so what I did was I took some blue painters tape and I got an old piece of wood or anything that you want to use that isn't going to hurt it if you use a knife on it. And then I just took the blue planer, the blue painters tape and I just layered it up on here like so so that you're going to have an area to draw on. And so on the other side, I've already done a pattern of the flames. So I laid down the blue painter's tape. I drew out the flames that I wanted to put on there. And then I took a knife and I just used this little knife that I have that has a really sharp edge on it. Or you can use an X-Acto knife. That, that works out really well too. And then once you draw out your flames, then you cut out the outline with the knife. And then what you want to do is you want to peel off <clears throat> all the excess part first and you peel this all off because I found that if you just try and peel the, the outline of the flames off it ends up if you have a little tear or a little rip or whatever it's, it's a lot harder to fix so if you do the outside part first, then it leaves the flames on there. And if you need to do any touch-ups or anything, you can 
cut the edges a little better <clears throat> and it's a lot easier to work with so you just peel all these up and as you can see the pattern of the flames is starting to come out and I'm peel all that off Until the only thing you have left are the flames and then what you're going to do is you're going to peel those up and you have to be really careful peeling this up so that you don't tear it or rip it and you peel that all up and then what you're going to do is this is our sample board that we have over here and you're going to peel these flames up and you have to be really careful like I said so that you don't rip or tear anything and if you've made any of your designs whether it's flames or flowers or whatever design that you choose that you want to put on your project if you have really thin little areas the tape will rip so you have to be very careful so then you take that and then you decide on the box or the piece of wood or whatever you've painted you decide where you want your design to go lay it down on the box and sometimes it'll kind of stick to itself or roll up on itself so you just have to be careful outlining it and like I said it kind of sticks to itself so so then once you get it all laid down on the box or on the wood or whatever you're painting you just smooth it all out and the painter's tape is great because it doesn't stick to the paint below. <clears throat> and then what you're going to do after that is decide what your final color is going to be. And I decided mine was going to be black and gray. So then when you're done with that, this is what it's going to look like with the tape on it after you've already painted it black, gray, or whatever color you've chosen. And once you've painted all of that, let it dry. I'd say let it dry for at least 24 hours or something like that because that way when you peel up the tape, you don't have to worry about any wet paint coming up with your tape. So I'm just going to turn it on its side here because it's going to make it a little bit easier. And then you just start peeling up the tape. And then I'll turn it down like this so you can see it a little bit better. And you just start peeling it up. And as you can see, where I painted it yellow and red and orange, it gives that flame pattern to it. And then you just peel off all the tape on the box <coughs> or the piece of wood or whatever you're working on. And it'll give you the really nice design that you like. So. These are some of the other ones that I've done that I've shown you before. This is the flame one that I did now. And I'm going to finish peeling all this tape off of here. And, you know, they make really nice keepsake boxes. They make nice jewelry boxes. And you can get these boxes at any kind of craft store or any place like that. Or you can make the box yourself like I did. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a lot of fun doing it like I did. I hope you come back to the DIY Family channel, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.